Good morning. Welcome to Free Daily Coaching. Super excited to go over this five-step, simple, easy, email made easy program with you. Now, we've identified going through a bunch of different email trainings, the five most essential formats and phases that an email goes through. So we're gonna identify, show you each one of those five stages this week. We're also going to be giving you examples and show you exactly how you can start to create your own email series. So we want you to follow along with us. Now this morning I've put together a slideshow so that I can actually walk you through this step by step. I'm gonna give you the big picture overview and then this morning we're gonna go over the very first email, the inclusionary email. Now most of you have heard this be referred to as the welcome email or the introduction email. I'm calling it the inclusionary email. I'll show you why this morning and I'll show you exactly how you can craft the email. Now, for those of you that are members of our coaching program, of our private coaching program, you'll actually be getting templates this week for all of these emails. So get excited about that. For those of you that are participating here at Free Daily Coaching, each day of the week this week, we'll be going over one of these five stages of the email so you'll get training on each and every one. So we'll see you as we jump over here into the slideshow. Let's jump on over right now. Email made easy with a simple series. Making things easy is the main priority at Free Daily Coaching. So we've taken all of the email courses we've used and boiled it down to the following email made easy training. There are five main types of email that we are going to send to our subscribers, and this is how Free Daily Coaching has categorized them. Inclusionary, this may be one, two, or even a three email series. Here's your subscribers, how you can help them and show them with your content via your email series, the action steps. Get them to take an action. Email number three, movement. Get them to commit to more action. This is now movement inquiry. Learn what they want more of. Second chance. Now you can attempt to reach those that did not previously respond. Simply put, you're re-engaging with your audience. Inclusionary. Take action, movement, inquiry, and second chance. That's everything that we're going over to in this email system. Today, we're going to look at the welcome or inclusionary email. The first idea is simple. Introduce yourself or the product or service. This can be as simple as telling a story or giving some background info. Like who are you? Or what is your product or service? Possibly what do you or the company you represent stand for? Usually telling stories in this story form is an easy way to begin the process. If you aren't comfortable telling stories, go watch Storytelling Made Easy. In that video, I share the fill in the blank storytelling model that I've been using successively for years now. So you have to tell your reader what they're going to get from you and why are you or your product or service different. What should they expect from you or from this product or service? And you really should tell them how often they'll be getting emails from you so they know what to expect. In addition, you can give specific examples of what you'll be sharing with the readers so that they are more apt to open your emails. Give your reader either A, what you promised via an offer, or B, solution-based content, or C, a call to action. Even I have recently changed my single inclusionary email to a three email series. You may even be asking, hey, why would I do that, right? It was simply because I wanted to add an additional step that would increase my open rates and would build more rapport with my readers. So are you ready to see a couple examples of some inclusionary welcome introduction emails? Well, here you go. Here we go. All right, so here we go. Here is a, an example of a welcome email. Now, this is a welcome email that I created before 
I changed over and I'm changing over to a series. So here's one that I was using for free daily coaching. You can see it starts out, hey there, I'm going to assume that you are here because you visited one of my websites or we spoke online or on the phone. First off, let me tell you how excited I am that you decided to let me share with you. Not too long ago, I was searching for a way to make some money online or find a way to build my home-based business using the internet in some way. I was struggling to figure out how to promote without bothering all my friends and family. What happened was something pretty awesome. I found some real solutions that I'll share with you. I'll send you invites to my free daily coaching, other webinars and trainings that I attend for my business, and the tools I use to allow us to live a life of freedom. I'll tell you the story of how I quit my job and really dove headfirst into a home-based business. Let me tell you now that you will not get a bunch of automated emails from you. What you will get are letters that I personally am writing to you. Now, you may get some wacky subject lines and even get a few Goat Village updates. You'll definitely hear more about Goat Village and how our freedom has allowed us to start an urban homestead, but I'll save that for next time. Talk to you soon. So, in this first initial email, you can see I told them a little bit about me. I kind of told it in a little bit of a story form. I didn't use my blank uh, story format. I simply created this in just a few minutes, just telling them a little bit about myself, what I was going to provide for them, which was some more invites, that I wasn't going to do it very spammy, and I was gonna actually invite them to trainings and tools that I actually use in my business. So you can see I kept it very succinct and very concise. So here's one example of a single email that you could use in your inclusionary email series or your inclusionary email letter. In this case, this was a single email. And this one was written a long time ago. You can see that I was um, inviting them, uh, telling them that I would give them an invite to free daily coaching. So there was no real call to action. This was just simply for them coming and joining free daily coaching. So this will be expanded in the next example here that I show you. I'll show you how we changed the call to action and created a different letter. So let's take a look at that right now. All right, so here's another one. Um, so this one was one that I was uh, showing a video, right? And so this is the, the first of that series. And so I wanted to show you how we changed it up and why I changed it up to build a little bit of rapport, but also to make sure that people were getting my email. So I'll send you an email with a link to the next video in a couple days. This was just a filler that as a placeholder this could be anything, and you could put right here above, and I'll just put some little arrows really quick uh, so you could see that, and I'll put insert, and you would insert your offer or download that you, that you were going to give based on whatever your lead magnet was, and then, um, and then after that, you could say, hey, here's what I need you to do. So you get that email, right? So, or you could say, here's what I need you to do. So you continue to get my emails, right? And then these are the instructions on how they can do that. One, move this email into your primary or priority inbox. Number two, star the email, mark it as important, and create a label for this series, right? Whitelist and then you wanna put in your website here, okay? In this case, it put whitelistfreedailycoaching.com here. And you can see how to do that, and you can see I gave you a, a link so that you could check. You can go to freedailycoaching.com forward slash email hyphen whitelisting. Okay, here you can see the whitelisting page, the email whitelisting here on Free Daily Coaching. So just click on that link, you'll be brought over to this page. It shows you, it tells you why it's important and then the step-by-steps -step on how to whitelist, whether you're using Gmail, Yahoo Mail, Mac Mail, whatever you're using, this shows you how to, to create the whitelist for us. So just go ahead and follow these instructions and you will be, we will be whitelisted for you. 
All right, just go ahead and click on the link here. You'll be able to go to free daily coaching to grab the instructions on the white listing. And you can include this and you could create this page on your website as well. So I'm sure you're starting to realize that you're about to begin an incredible experience. You will see when you know how to turn subscribers into profits, even with a small list, you become a different type of marketer, a different type of business person. I'm not sure exactly how to phrase it, but there's a sense of pride and accomplishment that comes from being able to craft an offer, write it up, send it out, and watch the profits stack up. Ordinary people just don't do that sort of thing. But hey, who wants to be ordinary? Free daily coaching. This is going to be fun. Talk soon, right? That's it, that's it. So another example that you can use in your business as an inclusionary or introduction welcome email. This one is the first, this would be the first in my series. And this tells them that I'm going to send them something the next day, how to whitelist me, and that I would talk soon. I will simply on the next day send the next piece of content, and we'll go over that in another video. Okay, well, there was two examples of an inclusionary email that you could use. For those that are members, as I mentioned, this at the end of the week, we'll have a, a webinar for you where you can come in and download all of these examples so you can have them. For those that aren't members, you could simply go over to the YouTube channel, go back and watch the videos and pause them and then just transcribe them yourselves. We're not showing all of them because of course, for those that are members uh, with us and our private coaching we want to give you guys a little bit extra access a little bit more so we're giving you the entire template series so thanks again for joining us here at free daily coaching tomorrow we'll be covering steps number two and three so today we talked about the inclusionary email and the inclusionary series. Tomorrow, we're gonna to talk about the action step email and the movement email. So we're gonna hit two tomorrow. Then on Wednesday, we're gonna talk about the inquiry email. And on Thursday, we'll talk about the second chance. So thanks for visiting us. We'll see you the next time.